Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be all of my favorite products for the winter time because I feel like we're in the heart of the winter, at least where I live. It is cold and dreary and just awful. So I wanted to share with you guys the things that I like to use on a regular basis to keep my spirits high and just my skin moisturized essentially. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and be sure to leave your favorite winter skincare or beauty product in the comments down below so I have some recommendations to go try some new products. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and turn on bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And if you didn't know, I do have a second channel, Miss Michaela Vlogs, and I've been posting weekly vlogs on there and I've really been enjoying it. So if you like vlogs and you wanna check them out, I will have a link to that down below. There's some good ones and I have another one going up on Monday. So yeah, go check it out if you're interested, but let's get into the video. Back in the summertime, I really wanted to try something from the Drunk Elephant line. So I picked up this product. It is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel and I personally love serum and gels for my skin. I find they work really well and this product is no exception. I love this so very much and I honestly think this is the reason my skin hasn't gone flaky this winter. I was about to say summer. This winter because I definitely have experienced that in the past and it's something I do deal with and it's really noticeable when I wear certain foundations and stuff but I think that this is really getting deep into my skin and hydrating it and so I don't have the flaking problem which is kind of gross but you guys if you have dry skin, you know what it's like. So yeah, definitely check this out if you have like really dry skin. And this is also good for other parts of your body and it has a really cool bottle because you like snap it up. I haven't tried anything other than this from this line. So if you have any recommendations, leave them down below because the Drunk Elephant is really popular and um, it's a little bit pricier, but you can get it at Sephora. Of course, in the winter time, it's super important to have a really good moisturizer. And this is the one that I've been using recently. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And I actually used up a smaller size of this and then moved on to the big tub. I really like this. It doesn't break me out. I find that it's really good for my sensitive skin and it's really, really moisturizing. So I'll usually apply this at night in a very heavy layer. And then again, in the morning, if I do end up washing my face, don't wash my face every single morning, but I've really been loving this. I do apply it after the gel, so I put the gel on first and then my moisturizer, and then, yeah, that's basically my skincare routine. If you want to see a full skincare routine, let me know in the comments because I'd love to do that, but this has been a really good moisturizer, and another one I really love and wanted to mention is the Belief Cream. I like the regular one, not the Aqua Balm one, the, like, thicker one, so if you can get your hands on that one, too, it's really good and, again, good for sensitive skin, but those are my two moisturizer recommendations for the winter time. Moving on to my under eyes and my eyelids. I definitely did not ever moisturize my eyelids before now and I have noticed such a difference now that I do because it's easier to apply eyeshadow and actually they're just a little bit more dry in general so I do need to moisturize them. The eye cream I've been using lately is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream from It Cosmetics. I really like this. It's not too crazy or anything and I think it's really helping to prevent, you know, wrinkles and stuff because it cosmetics is just a really good line and I do really like the Kiehl's eye cream as well so yeah I just love applying eye cream at night and sometimes I'll do it in the morning because it helps my concealer look a lot better so yeah just eye cream I'm a fan <laughs> As of recently, I've really only been wearing mascara. I haven't been wearing false lashes nearly at all just because I find them to be a little bit more of a hassle and I do have longer lashes now, so I don't really need it. But I did wanna mention my two current favorite mascaras. The first one you guys have probably seen me talk about. This is the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Love this stuff, drugstore, amazing. But a recent discovery of mine is the Total Temptation Mascara by Maybelline. I love this, they're very, very similar. They're both a pretty wet formula and they do amazing things for your lashes. This one actually is supposed to smell like coconut. To me, it smells like coconut milk, which I don't really love, but it does work really well and it comes off really easily too, which I think is like important when it comes to mascara because I don't wanna be spending 20 minutes getting my mascara off. So both of these are really good. They don't flake throughout the day and uh, I'm just a really big fan and they're pretty inexpensive. I always like to apply a lip balm before I start doing my makeup. That way it has time to set into my lips before I apply a liquid lipstick or whatever I'm gonna be wearing that day. So this one by Vaxum is what I've been reaching for the most. And this is the Power Plump Lip Balm in Big O. It's a really chunky lip balm. It smells like mint and it does give you a little bit of a plump, which I think is really nice. And it's super hydrating, which is great for the winter and yeah. Just thought I'd mention it because I love it. Moving on to a couple products from Lush that I have absolutely been loving. The first one is Bucks Fizz, and this is a body conditioner. And I believe this was a holiday one, but they still have it online. So if you're interested, definitely go buy it online or check in stores. But this one smells like Skittles. It's incredible. It's a bright orange color and it is so great. If you guys have never used a body conditioner from Lush, essentially it's just like a hair conditioner before your body. So you apply it to your skin 
in the shower and then rinse it off and then you just pat dry so it doesn't completely soak up all the product and it is amazing for those of you that don't want to apply lotion after you get out of the shower I'm definitely not one of those people that like applies lotion to my legs like ever so this is a really great alternative it's way faster and I love it but the fact that it smells like skittles is to die for they do have other scents that are more permanent I think there's like a rose one and um that's all I know. <laughs> but this one's really good, so if you can get your hands on it, check it out. The other Lush product that I wanted to mention is the R&B Hair Moisturizer, and this one is so cool. I apply this when I get out of the shower and my hair is damp, and I just apply it to the ends, and it's like a thicker formula, and it's just like so cool. It makes your hair smell incredible for days after, but it's really good if you guys have dry, brittle ends, if you get your hair colored or anything. That's kind of why I use it, because my ends are super dry, and I kind of need a trim. So that hides this <laughs> or hides that and I think this is a really great product and you don't need that much So it'll last you a really long time But if you have dry brittle hair definitely check this out and the last product I wanted to mention because I absolutely love giving myself a little bit of a fake glow during the winter time And I do that thanks to loving tan. This is their deluxe bronzing mousse in the shade dark I love the dark shade. I have never tanned myself to match this shade ever so I really like the fact that I can achieve that tan. It's super natural looking. It does not smell horrible at all. And they also do have a two hour one, so you can apply it, wait two hours and then rinse it off. Super cool. This one is the overnight one, or at least like wait six or eight hours or something. But I do really love this. It does last a really long time and I'm just a really, really big fan. So if you guys have been looking for a self tanner or you've maybe probably heard of Loving Tan but haven't like, you know, purchased it yet, definitely, definitely worth it. I love it out of all the self tanners I've used. This one is the one I keep coming back to just because it does give me that super dark natural tan that I will never be able to achieve on my own. So yeah, big fan of that. So those are all the winter beauty survival products that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and maybe discovered something new you want to try. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what your favorite winter beauty product is currently because I definitely want to know. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Miss Michaela Vlogs, if you like vlogs and want to see my regular life, you know, on the daily. <laughs> and yeah, I love you guys so much and I will chat with you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.